Hello folks, your host Old Valdrox here back with some more fake grand order and let's just cut to the chase right no long lengthy explanation. I think I'll do that from here on now. Just introduction and that's it. So where we last left off, I believe we are about to face Mordred, if I'm not mistaken. So we are already currently at section seven and it's about to enter part three. And if that's memory serves correctly. Yes, we'll be facing at least one part of Mordred. The increase in their charge to the maximum of Ism, and many at all to make liking. So we'll need our archers, pure archers, this time around. And we'll have to seek out help if there's any decent help. And again, it's one of those things where like, It varies, I suppose. Why, Killian Black? Your Orion wouldn't be ideal, but that would mean I had to get her up there as well, because... I think the Grail, it takes HP and it just increases your damage, which means... Yeah, it's nice and all, if you can get the MP up there. But again, I'm not in no position to talk. So that means skin to fried chicken. Well, I'll give it a try if all else fails. Which means I have to teach him some team stuff. I have to go from passive to aggressive. Huh? Or, actually, no. I can either fight with. The charge is immediate, so I need a diversion, which means these little ladies will have to be out of battle. Okay, I could pull off what I did last time. Mm, I need to charge faster, so Halloween. Good turn. Should do it. Again, the lack of archers makes this battle very, very difficult. Actually, let's see. Phoebus catastrophe to deal with the first line of defense. You know, that's how they're annoying. After that, uh, more luck and chance over here. Seems like Muriel won't have the effect on her. She's running along, Emya. There's not really that many servants I can rely on in terms of the Archer class. Take more did more seriously. <laughs> that can't be. Where on earth did you? That's right. You won't believe this, but we came from the sky. <laughs> A powerful magical energy signature is headed this way. No doubt it's a knight of the round table. Thanks for dropping by trash. I welcome you. I'm impressed you came out to see me. Master, it's really Mordred from back in London. Quit shouting my name so much. Who are you, a fan of mine? Oh no, she doesn't remember us. Then again, I've killed so many heathens, I'm sure to be famous. I, I must have been mistaken. This Mordred's different after all. What? Now you're suddenly being all meek? I'm telling you, I don't know who you... Wait, I do know you. You look different now, but I remember the scent of your magical energy. I was wondering why you didn't respond to Father's summons. What the hell are you doing here? You don't tell me you were one of the rebels. 
So that's it, then. Well, hardly surprising considering it's you. You're about the only one who dares to object to King Arthur nowadays. But you got here a bit too late. Margaret, um, does that mean you'll talk with us then? Why would I do that, you idiot? Whoever interferes with me is an enemy. That mage there must be the master everyone's talking about. I'm gonna do aggravate a favor and cut you up into pieces. I don't want to fight you. What's that? You know me too? Being a servant is such a hassle. Anyway, just give up. I don't know what kind of moron that Mordred you knew was, and I don't give a shit anyway. Right now, I'm a knight serving the Lion King. I'm the great raider knight Mordred, and it is my duty to be dis a dishonorable hound. Do you understand? I've been let off my leash, meaning it's okay for me to do whatever I please. Ha! That's the best way to handle someone like me. I'll kill whoever dares to defy the king, no matter who they may be. Now the rock, she's not Mordred from London. If you pity her, you'll be killed. Fight her as an enemy, with everything you've got. Well, I was hoping this would turn into a fight. See, my gift is called Rampage. And that means I'll fire off my secret sword as much as I want until my soul burns up. Battalions, armies, bring it. Let's see, there's one, two, three. What, only three of you? Just one master and three servants? That's not a fight, not even a game. There's no way I, oh, hang on. Hey, what's the meaning of this? What are you doing over there? You of all people shouldn't be here. It's not possible. Isn't that right, Third Rate Knight? You mixed in with these rebels? Must be some kind of sick joke. I have nothing to say to you. I do have bones to pick. My objective was to reach the Lion King, but I'll forget that for the time being. Treacherous Knight Mordred, the traitor who trampled all over King Arthur's ideals. They, that tainted sword of yours is a horrible reality I can't stand to look at. Ha! Looks like you finally learned to talk like a man, coward. Interesting. In that case, let me remind you of the pitiful fact that you have not once won against me. Look out! A second battle against the Knights of the Round Table. Watch out for their special abilities. Yeah, if no one learns about their abilities from beforehand, you kind of go running them blind. Which is why we have guides nowadays, people. Ooh. Apologies. Which is one of those things where, like, I don't really want to catch up to Japan because we do will go into the unknown and someone has to chart a mission. It's not always as easy as people make it out to be anyways. I don't think we should win really to do that. So the ordinary crit stars regardless. Yeah. 207 divided by X amount. Oh, more than you're about. Uh, I'm scared of you. Shit. Okay. Calm down. All I can do. <laughs> At least for a one time I do. I just better hope I can generate the stars faster. Okay! <laughs> Okay, so she's not using her noble phantasm, or I'm losing my mind here. <laughs> well, what better play it saying? It's gonna be one of those battles where we have to do a certain amount of damage again.
Taking any chances here, folks. Okay. Yeah. And yes, all my low heroes aren't even that raised up. Anyways. Should be. I, after this, I probably will. If I have the resources to be able to spend it on them. Okay, now this time it'll just be Mordred. But I should still bring up the bring the proper backup. And not many people seem to have an Orion, which means I can't rely on a no. I mean a Uriel either because in order to rely on Uriel, you should rely on the lock from the charm, and charm doesn't work on her. Damn. Okay. Well, I got no other options, so I'll pick what I can get. And then again... Zone, I could... Oh, I'll pick yours. It's probably the closest to an MP that I can actually bring up. Hopefully it doesn't have to come to that, though. So strong. If we let our guard down at all, Mordred will use that noble phantasm. Bedivere is keeping Mordred contained for now, but we can't go on like this forever. That's an impressive artificial arm. Was that why you spoke so boldly earlier? Where'd you get a thing like that, coward? I don't remember us having anything like that. You don't remember, huh? You sure about that? Maybe it's just your bird ring getting in the way. You call me a blockhead? Oh, oh, you so did. You always called me that. Don't get cocky, Bedivere. You're so, just a feeble knight who sat down in the extra seat. You'd never have become the king's attendant if Agrimin hadn't kicked it so early. You're nothing compared to me. King Arthur just happened to take a liking to you. Yes, you're right. I'm nowhere near the other knights. I have neither the fairy's blessing nor the sun's. I have no inherent gifts. I was nothing but an ordinary knight. Yet the king relied on me until his last breath. To repay that kindness, this arm was granted to me. A gift from an archmage Merlin, Mwadha's arm. Until his last breath, you say. Fine, I'll kill you right here. There will be nothing left of you when I'm done. I won't even tell the king you were here. You'll never come close to seeing such a thing ever again. Burn my son and unleash thyself, O oh, silver light. Both my loyalty and your loyalty are one and the same. In the past they were true, but now their roots are distorted. Mordred, you are both my sworn enemy and brother in arms. I can understand that pain now. That is precisely why I shall slay you with all my strength. Switch on. Arrogatium. Forgiveness if I didn't pronounce it correctly. Shut up! What do you know? You don't know anything about me. No, we know plenty, Mordred. Well, about the old Mordred. We know nothing about the new one. Only that you're still casted outside the castle walls. So it's just kind of sad. Plotoria is not really a nice girl. She doesn't play nice at all. Damn it, why'd you go on a rampage? Why not? There isn't much to work here with. I'm kind of hoping Morbid doesn't do any real damage because if Morbid does, we'll use the Gandalf right now. Damn it! 
fair amount of damage on Sam. And there's a two-parter as well, damn it. Just in case this goes all south. キラクに、キラクに、俺。トウ。えい。テイクザペイオフィード。空よ。うるせえ。ワン。And again, all the shit is in the game. It's weird that he more than likely is using like pancakes in his part of the script. I'm pressing my left here, folks. Mordor doesn't have a defense buff that Gawain had, so we'll be able to do more damage. Ah, oh, shoot. I knew I should have hit Mordra from the back. Because now this is all we're going to do. Okay, there's that new phantasm. Okay, so they're able to survive someone. Not really. It seems hopeless, yes. Uh, and we got a drop. Of course it wouldn't work. Yes. Well, I'm gonna try to generate pictures, I suppose. Definitely put the right craft essence on her. Oh, him for that. Damn it, what am I doing? Even with my gift, I'm losing? Mordred retracted the helmet. It looks like that armor and the rampage gift don't mesh well. I see. The secret of pedigree. That armor was made to rebel against King Arthur. 
and actually would try to reject the Lion King's gift. That means Mordred wasn't at full strength. Yeah, that's right. I'd be the laughing stuck of the round table if I took new weaklings too seriously. But if I were to lose, it'd be even worse. So screw my reputation. I'll obliterate this mountain and you along with it. Feel the seething rage of this planet. Claren blood? Who the hell are you? Who keeps aiming at my arm joints? Wanna die? It's a battle after all. Someone's bound to die. Especially those who ignore their own limits and keep coming back for more. A rash. Hey, nice moves, Valbronx. Mash, check it out. The results of your efforts. I was able to take care of all the other soldiers leaving only Mr. Knight here. All that's left is to take his head, but... <sighs> I don't know about that guy. He's about to blow everything up, including himself, right? His gift is Rampage, isn't it? I bet he's about to unleash all his power and blow him the entire amount of the way along with that suit. What? You can tell? Nah, it's coincidence. Just coincidence. Rampage and magical energy would only lead to your own demise, even for a heroic spirit. At most, you get to power up your old phantasm for a bit. However, your gift is different. Rampage sounds cool, but it's no different than a nuclear meltdown. You get it now? The one who gave you that gift? See what they think of you? Yeah, that's right. I'm a hound, see? I'll take prey, kill, and kill again. In the end, I'll, I, I'll happily die in a ditch. I'm just taking you along for the ride. Come die along with Guap! The hell that pisses me off. Even if you're my enemy. You lost the battle so you blow yourself up and call it even? Where's your pride as a warrior? You still call yourself a knight at the round table? Are you only brave in the beginning? What? Listen up, if you're going to use your own life, use it to defend your own pride. Don't drag us into your own desperate struggle. I love taking care of kids, but I refuse to look after brats. Brat? Who are you calling a brat, bastard? What? You weren't a brat? Sorry, time out. Hey, Valdrox, how old is the kid, that kid? From the way he looked, I totally thought he was younger than you. I'm... probably... older? My freezing is frozen at... It's frozen at my 16-year-old self. I see. Then he's a proper adult. In that case, all the more reason. If you're feeling frustrated, start over and put everything on the line. We'll call this a draw. Or would you rather try on me on for size? I've been hanging in the back, so I'm still at full stamina. Damn it, listening to this idiot cooled my head. Fine, I'll play along. This round's my loss. Besides, my unit's been eliminated. Annihilated. I'll let this village go too. I was only hunting you, Vermin, anyway. That coward there is going to be meeting with the Lion King. We'll face off in the Holy City no matter what. Contest is on hold until then. This is an oath of a knight, given in return to it for sparing my life. I will never break it. Stay alive until then, weaklings. I'll be pissed off if you lose to another knight of the round. Yeah, like Tristan. Mordred's signal's fading away. Are you sure about letting her go? It's despic despicable yet unavoidable. We can't save the Western village if he self-destructs you. We already lost when they invaded. We were then able to negotiate a draw. We can't ask for more. That's true, and it seems the village was protected thanks to a rash's cover fire. All that's left is to check on the villagers and see if there's anything we can do to... Better view? Bedivere, are you okay? Hang in there. Ooh boy, answering chapter 8, folks. Still away was away before we can reach them. So in this quest, it looks like we're facing off. Well, I shouldn't be needed any help, so I should be fine. Zavania. <laughs> Looks like we can go all caster out. Just need one single powerful caster. I'm thinking just maybe. Actually, I'll do this. Milter changes soul to caster. And then from here. Gaber doesn't necessarily need the buff for the hand. Yeah, 
I'm trying to think here. Sorry, folks. Try not to be too distracted. We'll just slap labor on there for the time being. We'll put the monk on there, too. Again, for the time being. And the book as well. I feel like the book is the one that can do the most ideal type of damage in this situation. And then just several spellcasters in the back. And let's see, we'll put the... Just in case, I suppose. The lower tier group right this is still not gonna make much of a difference. Barely any difference. In that case, Waver, like I said, he doesn't need it all the way, so... Then again, I'm going overboard here. That should be fine. Actually, if anything, I'm thinking... Just an extra servant on the side, which means we set the filters and we pick. I think it is Nidocris MP5 already. No, she's still working for us. What about Ivaraki? Work in progress, we'll put her there. Uh, can't put her or her, uh, so it has to be one of the three stars. We'll put Kotaro on there just because. Nah, that should do it. It happened so long ago, I lost track. I have seen many things and forgotten many things. Yet among them, that memory still remains in my heart. They say this winter will be harsher. We must dismantle some of the villages. And to think we only just finished driving away the pigs from the north. The misfortunes continue, Bedivere. That day the king visited me when I was in deep thought in the watchtower. With no attendance, alone, out of the blue. He had the appearance of a young boy, but in truth, he was not so far in age from me at that time. At sixteen, he drew the Sword of Selection from the Stone and became the ruler of Britain. After that, he apparently ceased to age. They said it was a fairy's blessing, but I couldn't help but think it was a curse. The young king fought through the fiercest battles I have ever seen. He was a great leader who brought glory to Britain. He led foreign tribes to victory against the tyrannical king Borbtigar, who was ra ravaging the land. He united the warring feudal lords, fought off the adv advancing picks from the north, put an end to the way of Saxons closing in from the mainland, and restore Camelot Castle as the crown jewel of Londinium, the largest city in all the British Isles. The one and only king of knights, King Arthur. I told the king, then and there, as long as you shall live, Britain shall never perish, and suffering shall never prevail. That is not true. Camelot and surroundings may be flourishing, but the rest of the land remains in ruins. Even if Camelot were to accommodate those whose villages were destroyed, it could not restore their lifestyle. Plowing the land, living life day by day, raising children, that is what leads to future prosperity. There is no future in merely sheltering the people. Eventually, the noose is sure to tighten. Unlike the knights of the round table, giddy from all their victories and glories, the king always looked grim. Things were different before Camelot was restored, though. Sir Kay spoke of how the king used to smile more often, back when he used to travel the island in disguise. But now, not a trace of a smile remained. The king alone saw the dark clouds waiting on the horizon. Perhaps the sunset was making me nostalgic. As of that moment, I asked the king a timid question. One that stemmed from the doubt and unrest that had plagued me ever since I was granted a seat at the round table. Why did you choose a knight as worthless as me to be a knight of the round table? You feel unworthy because you are inferior to the others? How foolish. The same goes for me. In build, I am no match for, the, for others. In souls mission, many are am I better. However, bonds must not be measured by strength or weakness alone. Friend and foe, good and evil, benefit and detriment. 
Just as those are all different things, the knights of the round table are all serve different purposes. Friend and foe, good and evil. Friends are good, foes are evil, but the king said they were different things. It was unexpected in this era of warfare. He was the only knight who looked down and saw the situation in its entirety. In all likelihood, the king never said this to any of the other knights. It's something he said only to me, and it's obvious why. In that moment, the king told me thus. The Saxon invaders are our enemies, but they are not evil. If we had mentioned such a thought to other knights, many would have criticized them. That's right, the Saxons just came to the island searching for the land to live on. To use, they are to us they are the enemy, but their actions are not evil. What they wish for is inherently good. And if it is good, there must come a time when they will serve an important function for the island for this island. As long as we are human, conflict will arise. The division of a friend or foe is born from the benefit and detriment. We are now in an era where that is an extreme, an era of winter when neither side relents until the other side is crushed. I hate to even imagine creating a round table bound only by strength in such a time. We would fall into evil. We did not take the oath in order to kill our enemies, who took up arms for the future of our brethren. That is why, that is why we need so many roles, bit of ear. Does our Camelot shine because it was created by force? Of course not. This place is made up of everyone's dreams. It is forged from the desire for man alone to create a new utopia, albeit just barely. That's why we need knights like you. Compassion knights who can pick up on the details of people's lives, details that Gawain and I would have noticed. Even now my heart aches every time I think of it. I had no idea just how much hopeless the king felt then. Not until I heard about it from Merlin. Stupid and weak as I was at the time, I responded thus. It's too difficult a topic for me to understand, but I too enjoy living in Camelot. Thomas's wife gave birth just the other day. Twin girls, such adorable, adorable little darlings. How mundane and commonplace a reply, yet I remember giving it with such a satisfaction, such delight. Good grief, you had me worry for a moment. Such concerns do not become you, O simple and honest bed of ear. However, I am heartened to learn you to lead such a fulfilling life. That should be a source of sustenance for all. His hair shone in a golden sunset. That was the moment I finally felt I was in the presence of a true king. The knights feared they had not seen the king smile for quite some time. That was not the case, truly. The king did not smile for himself. He smiled upon seeing the happiness of others. Quite the lengthy dialogue and we still have to fight. The gravity of my sins made me want to rip out my own heart. Despite remembering that, I still turn an unfaithful sword toward the king. Oh, forgive me, I have committed a deed unbecoming of a knight in your service. Please deliver justice upon my transgression. All that I have done night after night was for you. Oh, was for. Well, I kind of finished the sentence there by myself, but I'm pretty sure it was for the king. I'm laying many were down to sleep. He has no noticeable wounds, but he's physically exhausted. If only we'd had a servant specializing in medical care. Both Lord Cursed Arm and I have no such knowledge. I haven't mastered treatment spells either. Do you think Bedivere's noble phantom wears away at him after all? Definitely takes a stone on him. Not just physically, but apparently mentally as well. He was crying out in his sleep just now. Forgive me, my king, he said. That's not surprising. Despite only being fused with a knight of the round table, even I feel indescribable irritation when we fight them. A sense of guilt telling me that this is treason against King Arthur, so for better be an actual member of the round table, it must be a lot worse. It's related to the end of King Arthur's story. Sir Vedivere is one of King Arthur's longest serving knights. Despite only having one arm, he is said to have been three times as successful than the knights in battle. But by other knights, I'm referring to ordinary knights. Compared to the other knights of the round table, Sir Bedivere's victories were modest. The most famous anecdote about him is from the end of the King Arthur's life. King Arthur's final battle, the Battle of Camelon, and was war not with invading Saxons, but within the nation between the knights of Britain. Despite killing the traitor Mordred in Camelon, King Arthur himself suffered a fatal wound. The king cannot recover on a hill soaked with blood. 
leaving Sir Bedivere killed King Arthur to a pure sheltered forest. Lying there, the, queen, the king quietly spoke. Beyond this forest and over the hill is a lake. Cast my famed sword into it. The famous legend of Return the Sacred Sword Excalibur to the Lady of the Lake. King Arthur, sensing his own death, chose to return it to its proper owner. However, that would mark the end of his life. His faithful retainer, Bedivere, out of concern for the king, twice failed in the task. As long as the sword existed, the king was immortal. Bedivere believed it had the power to heal his mortal wound. Through the wo woods over a hill, debating the sword's return with each trip to the lake, he would fail and return to the king. And upon his return, he would lie to the king by saying, I have returned the sword. It's said to be Sir Bedivere's one and only act of disloyalty. Yes, a very compassionate decision in keeping with Bedivere's character. But King Arthur could not be deceived. In a quiet voice, he would say to him, Do your duty. And so Bedivere made a third journey over the hill. This time it was at dawn. Accepting that he could no longer sway the king's heart, he cast his sacred sword into the lake's depths. With Excalibur delivered to the Lady of the Lake, he made his way back to the forest. That is how King Arthur drew his final breath and fulfilled his responsibility. The king's body was sent to the sea on a boat, and is said to have reached the legendary paradise Avalon. Yes, it is believed he'll return when Britain is in danger and lead the people once more. King Arthur's gravestone in England is said to have the epitaph, Here lies Arthur, the once and future king. That must be tough. Yes, Sir Bedivere's anxiety is indeed a cause for concern. Fighting against his former brethren must also be tough. But of all, all his beloved King Arthur is being a tyrannical ruler completely different from how he was in life. Even in the name of justice, turning on a king you once served must be an unforgivable act for a knight. There you are, Valderox. Forgive my delay. I've just returned from checking out the village. Thanks to you, we were able to keep the damage to a minimum. On behalf of the village leader, I humbly offer my thanks. We are truly indebted to you. You may be right. If we'd given up back then, this village wouldn't be here by now. Well, it was a spur-of-the-moment decision, but it looks like Valderox's back was correct. I'm so glad. Yes, I shall impress that smile firmly upon my heart. Valderox is sure to become a good master. By the way, Hassan, what are your plans from now on? To introduce you to the village leader. Of course we've come all this way, after all. It's a good opportunity. We are already in cooperation with each other. I'll introduce you as my new military power. Haha, <laughs> I'm sure talks will go smoothly now. She too was grateful for your assistance. We'll speak the devil. Yes, this way, hundred personas. These are my new brethren I was telling you about. I apologize for I apologize for the delay. And nothing but thanks for your assistance on this occasion. I'm the guardian of this village and old man of the mountain, Hassan of the Hundred Personas. Huh? What? You're the one from... Crap. Awesome, you already met. How convenient. Ha ha ha. I refuse. They cannot be trusted. Finding together is completely out of the question. Be thankful that I don't slaughter you here and now in front of these villagers. We won't feed you either place a strap for food even for today. For two days now, the villagers have ha only had little water and salt. We, only, we have no food to serve the likes of you. What is this? Going so far as to reveal your face while making such threats. Valderox, what on earth happened? Hunter Personas is being nasty and stubborn, easy to resent, but also the most calculating Hassan. Even without my explanation, she should know that Valderox's assistant is worth in weight in gold. We met once, back in Egypt. Hey, quit speaking as if it's all over. Do you know how much I've suffered thanks to you? You disrupt my carefully crafted Neodocris abduction, forcing me to reveal my face. And now to suffer the humiliation of being rescued by such a hated enemy? The great founder was to find out about this. I would surely be punished. I will never fight alongside you. What's wrong with you, cursed arm? To trust in a knight of the round table of all people? Oh, it's like I'm watching my former self. Hard to convince this one. All right, that's right then. No thanks. Did you think I would accept if you beat me? If anything, I'd hate you more, fool, idiot. 
Mm, she's worse than Mordred. What exactly did you guys do to her? But she's an old man of the mountain. Without her help, we can't even advance onto the holy city. We've got to convince her somehow. Hmm, by the way, Hundred Personas, how is the other matter going? Oh, that? No developments. At this rate, it's just a matter of waiting for death. I'm sure she is not one to break her silence, but I hear there are masters torture with the ring and the round table. If she would reveal our plans before she dies, we would lose our land's chance of counterattack. Hmm, that's worrying. Truly worrying. If only we could find someone somewhere. Someone stronger than us, able to work independently. Good at leading servants and willing to help us. Why are you ever going to find such a convenient helper? Give me a break, fool. Right here in front of my face, fools. Ugh. Ugh. I don't get the situation, but I hear your story. Senpai, it seems we can help them in some way. Yes, to put it simply, one old man on the mountain has been captured by the enemy. If I were, if it were any other old man on the mountain, we wouldn't be worried. She would have taken her own life upon capture. This one is young, and her innate constitution prevents her from killing herself. Unless we rescue her, she may eventually leak our information to the enemy. Unfortunately, the fort she's being held in belongs to the round team. It will be difficult to penetrate. You sent a select few to attend, but so far none have returned. Sorry about need increase, hundred personas. Your sorry doesn't cut it. I had a miserable trip home, cleaning cold stairs from my subordinates. Oh, how reassuring. I knew you would say so. So how about it, hundred personas? You said we cannot trust Valthrox. After saving our skin twice, surely you have no complaints. So it depends on what they do next. Let's have them prepare a hostage. There are many who promise to help them flee. Leave one of your members here. It'll be in exchange for the captured old man of the mountain. I won't have any objections then. That's perfect. You can let Bedivere rest. Then please take one of our leaders, Sir Bedivere, as your hostage. Guard him with your strictest men, so he can't do anything but lie down. Oh, okay. That night of the round table, huh? That sounds like a fair exchange. Then it's decided. Ready, Valbrox? Thank you, a son of the Cursed Star. No, no, likewise. You were brilliant. Ah, this is still continuing longer than I'd like it to. Now let's go. I'll show you the form. And what about a rash? I don't see him here. I've asked Lord Rash to protect the village. There's no guarantee that Mordred won't come back. And without me, the village won't have anyone to provide food. But thankfully, when it comes to hunting, Lord Rash is more skilled than me. He'll make sure everyone eats. This isn't a front line, it's a shelter for people who can't fight. You see, that's why everyone looks so worried. Let's go, no need for unnecessary sympathy. For all, it takes an entire day to reach the fort. Before that, some warm up exercise. I don't know if this, this bodes well or not. We're surrounded by bandits. This time's too precious for detours. We'll route them in advance. Valderox. Too much dialogue this time around. こういうのはどうだ。普通の夢中だな。他にやることないの普通の夢中だな。他にやることないのうん。それでいいわ。やあ。わなだ。
ぞ大軍師の究極陣地近い勝利だ戦う前に勝つくらいのいいかとも言ってるですけどなさもウェイパスのマークオフタイムラウンドマリアス And we'll continue on in the next video folks As always good luck with the roles of your rolling in the gacha and good luck on the singularity of your starting I'm pretty much making a, I guess you could say, a, a charter map. Not that anyone else can do the same. In any case, though, good luck.